Good morning, students. I'm Dr. Dharmendra Bhim. This is my second session on complex integration. Just we have to recall the previous class. Um, last class we had discussed about what is the definition of complex integration and properties of complex integration and some preliminary results on that uh, complex integration. And, so, and today we had discussed about the four problems on complex integration. With that, what is the definition of complex integration? Just we have to recall, and also the terms of uh, complex uh, integration properties. So, firstly, we have to take the definition of uh, complex integration. Integral over the curve C f of z dz is equal to what is the f of z? f of z is uh, integral over the curve that is u plus i into v, that is a complex function and dz, dz can be written as that is uh, dx plus i into dy because uh, z is equal to x plus i y and I have to take the derivative that is dz is equal to dx plus i into dy. When I have to take the simple multiplication uh, and some and also we have to take that real and imaginary part of that terms integral over the curve c uh, and also with the sign that is uh, i square is equal to minus 1. So, therefore, the uh, another definition of complex integration that is complex integral over the curve c f of z dz is equal to integral over the curve c that is the real part u into dx minus v into dy plus i into integral over the curve c u dx plus v d u dy plus v dx. You can call this one as equation 1 and this, this one as equation 2. And also if uh, x and y is a function of t and z is also a function of t. So, so it can be shown that furtherly it can be shown that is integral over the curve c f of z dz is equal to integral over the curve that is uh, a t varies from a to b. So, that is uh, integral over the curve varies from a to b f of z of t into dz by dt into dt. If z is a function of t and also terms of x and y is a function of t and t varies from the interval that is a to b. And uh, some properties of line integral uh, with the terms of integral uh, complex integration. The first one integral over the curve c k into f of z into dz where k is a constant and uh, it can be written as we can take it outside from the integral that is k into integral over the curve c f of z dz where k is a real constant. In the second one integral over the curve c f of z plus or minus g of z into dz is equal to integral over the curve c f of z plus or minus integral over the curve c g of z into dz. At a speed that whatever it may be the terms containing either plus is plus or minus is minus. In the next one the third one integral over the curve c f of z into dz is equal to so, when I have to interchange that uh, upper and lower limit that can be written as minus integral over the curve c minus c that is where to take in that uh, intervals changes. So, a to b to b to a. So, on that time we have to using this one f of z integral over the curve minus c f of z dz. On the next one, suppose the curve c made up of two curves that is c1 and c2 that is c is equal to c1 plus c2. So, that is along that curves, uh, then that integral over the curve c f of z dz can be written as integral over the curve c1 f of z into dz plus integral over the curve c2 f of z into dz. Suppose we have to take the, if it is a modulus sign, integral over the curve c dz is less than or equal to uh, integral over the curve c mod f of z into mod z. So, after taking the first problem, evaluate the integral over the curve c z square into dz, where uh, c the curve is made up of the two condition here. Where the, we know the value of f of z here that is a function of a complex number that we can take in that f of z is z square and the terms of dz directly, where c is the first condition that line joining the point 0 and 3 plus i. You can observe terms so of line joining the points 0 and 3 plus 1. 0 means that is z is equal to 0 
and here z is equal to 3 plus i y. If z is equal to 0 means that is the origin because z is equal to x plus i y. When I have to compare the value of uh, x plus i y is equal to 0 plus i into 0. So, definitely x and y values are 0. If the values of z is equal to 0 means that is origin and here the second one that is uh, z is equal to 3 plus i means x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1. So, therefore, the line joining the points is 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 1. We can find out that like, what is that line. Nextly, the terms is the path uh, OBA consisting of that line segment OB and BA. That is a second condition where A and B are what is the value of A and B where A is uh, uh, Z plus Z is equal to 3 plus I and uh, B is Z, Z is equal to 3. That means that is a uh, real part is 3 and the imaginary part is absent here. You can observe here. Here the real part is 3 and the imaginary part is 1 that is that points is 3 comma 1 here the points is 3 comma 0 that is in terms of x axis only. Further show that in the, in the integral uh, along the path uh, and integral along the closed path O B A is 0. Finally, we have to show that that one is equal to 0. Okay, and we have to take that first one. Before that one, we can find out what is the value of z square into dz. Okay, then we can take in that the line joining the points. Uh, the first one is 0 comma 0, that is origin to 3 comma 1. And the next one is OBA and OB plus BA. And finally, in terms of OB, OBAO, that is a closed path. Okay. Solution, we know that uh, z is equal to x plus i y, then what is the value of dz? That is dz is dx plus i into dy, but we want in terms of what is the value of z square, that is function of a complex number. So, here z square is there, z square can be written as x plus i y whole square. So, when I have to remove that one, uh, so we have to expand the terms is, that is x square plus i square into y square plus uh, 2 i into x y. So, therefore, we know the value of i square that is complex number that is the value is minus 1. So, therefore, the real part is that is x square minus y square and the imaginary part is that is 2 x y. So, therefore, z square can be written as that is a real part is x square minus y square plus uh, i into 2 x y. So, that is the value of a z square and similarly, when I have to multiply the terms of what is the value of z square into d z that is uh, we know the value of z square that is x square minus y square plus 2i into xy and dz is uh, dx plus i into dy. So, when I want to multiply these two terms here that is a real part is that is x square minus y square into dx the first one again the terms of here the real part with the imaginary part is that is uh, the terms is uh, 2i the terms is uh, this one. 2 i square into x y into d y. Again, the terms is here uh, 2 i x into y into d x. And the next one is the terms is uh, i into x square minus y square into d y. So, therefore, here i square is there. We know the value of i square that is minus 1. So, we can combine the terms of the uh, we can club the two values of real part and imaginary part. So, therefore, z square into d z can be written as x square minus y square into dx and this value is minus 1 that is minus 2 x y into dy this is the real part plus i into 2 x y dx plus x square minus y square into dy we have to take i as a common factor. So, therefore, this is the value of z square into dz. Okay. The first one what is the condition uh, the line joining the two points that is 0 to 3 plus i what is the given the terms is so, therefore, the C is the line segment joining 0 comma 0 that is uh, 0 means that is 0 comma 0 that is the origin just we have to observe here if z is equal to 0 that means x plus i y is equal to 0 plus i into 0 that is value is 0. So, therefore, that is that on the what is the value of x we have to compare the real part here x is 0 and y is 0. So, therefore, that value is 0 comma 0 and the next one is that is a 3 plus i that means 
z is equal to 3 plus i means it can be written as x plus i y is equal to 3 plus i into 1 that is compare that real part is x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1. So, therefore, that point is 3 comma 1. So, we have to take the terms like this. So, we can draw the graph that is say in terms of x uh, the line segment is 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 1 that is that x axis and this one is y axis and that line joining the point that is 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 1. So, we can find out what is that value of that line that is x is equal to 3 y. We know that uh, the formula along the curve c is equal to o a uh, that the equation along the line joining the two points uh, o a is uh, x is equal to 3 y then d x is equal to 3 into d y. So, we can you find out the terms of that line joining the two points x is equal to 3 y. So, we know that the equation of the line joining the two points x1 comma y1 and y x2 comma y2 is the formula is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Now, I have to put that value of uh, x1 comma y1 is 0 comma 0 and x2 comma y2 is uh, 3 comma 1. We have to substitute that value that is y minus 0 is equal to y2 minus y1, y2 is here y1, uh, so 1 and y1 is 0, so the terms is 1 minus 0 divided by x2 is 3 minus 0 because x1 is 0, so therefore x minus 0. So, which imply the terms of as y is equal to 1 by 3 into x or it can be written as x is equal to 3 into y. So, that is the line joining the two points. So, along the curve, uh, c is equal to um, o a if the term says x is equal to 3 into y. So, therefore, that we can observe the diagram uh, along the curve x is equal to 3 a. So, the terms of along the curve x is equal to 3 a, what is the value of y varies from we can observe the terms is here x is equal to 3 a, x is equal to 3 y means. So, that is d x is equal to 3 into d y. So, which imply the terms is uh, it can be rewritten as the terms of either x is equal to 3 y means that is uh, y varies from 0 to 1. You can observe the terms is y value is here 0 to 1. So, therefore, if we have to take x is equal to 3 y. So, on that time that y varies from 0 to 1. So, therefore, the line joining the segment x is equal to 3 y is e then the d x is equal to 3 into d y. So, it can be rewritten as the terms of integral over the curve c z square into d z uh, integral over the curve c. So, we know the value of z square into d z already find out the terms is. So, therefore, along the line o a x is equal to 3 y and y varies from 0 to 1 then integral over the curve o a into z square into d z. We can substitute that value of x is equal to 3 y here also and d x is equal to 3 into d y and also the terms of y varies from 0 to 1 over the curve y varies from 0 to 1. We can substitute that correspondingly integral over the curve uh, y varies from 0 to 1 we can substitute the value of x square by 3 y whole square minus y square that is 9 y whole square into d x is 3 into d y minus 2 into x value is 3 y into y into d y plus i into we can observe the terms of here uh, 2 into x x value is 3 y into y into d x value is 3 into d y plus y x square means 3 y whole square minus y square into d y here the slide is missing the terms is this into d y here. So, therefore, it can be rewritten as the terms is where we have to observe the terms here. 9 y square minus y square here 2 into 3 that is 6 y into y y square here also a term of 2 into 3 into 3 that is uh, 3 into 3 that is 9 into 2 that is 18 y into y that is y square here also 9 y square minus y square into d1. So, therefore, it can be written as integral over the curve 0 to 1 y varies from 0 to 1 3 y square we should ex simply expand the terms 
minus y square into 3 dy minus 6 into y square into dy this term plus i into 18 y square you have to observe the terms of multiplication simple multiplication plus 9 y square minus y square into dy here also 9 y square minus y square that is the terms of 8 y square into 3 8 into 3 that is 24 that's so therefore integral over the curve uh, c that is c varies from 0 to 1 y varies from 0 to 1 here 8 into 3 that is 24 y square minus 6 y square into dy plus that imaginary part that is 18 y square plus 9, min, 9 minus 1 that is the times is 8 y square into dy. Here are also terms of 24 minus 6 means that is 18 and the terms of 18 plus 8 that is 26. So, it can be written as integral over the curve. Uh, 0 to 1 18 y square into dy plus i into integral where is from 0 to 1 26 y square into dy. So, therefore, when I have to integrate this one that is a y square uh, integration is that is 18 into y cube by 3 integral over where is from 0 to 1 plus i into 26 times y square integration is y cube by 3 integral where is from 0 to 1. So, when I have to substitute that upper limit that is 1 and the lower limit becomes 0. So, therefore, it can be written as uh, 18 by 3 the terms is that is a uh, 3 6 uh, 18 that is 6 and here the terms is 26 by 3 that is unaltered. So, therefore, it can be written as integral over the curve uh, O a that is z square into d z is equal to 6 plus uh, 26 by 3 into i. You can Remember the terms of integral over the curve 0 uh, to 1 that is uh, OA that line joining OA is 6 plus 26 by 3 into I that is equation 4. So, the next one the second condition of this problem integral over the curve C is the path that is OBA, OBA can be written as OB plus BA then it can be written as in terms of the diagram. So, we can take that x axis, y axis integral that is O b the terms is O b is that we have to observe the terms of 0 to uh, 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 0 because that value of z is equal to 3 and similarly terms of a b that is z is equal to 0 to uh, z is equal to 3 plus i the terms is there is 3 comma 1. So, in terms of along the curve, so that are the two curves that is c 1 and c 2 along o b we can observe the terms of along o b that is the value of along o b y is equal to 0 along o b that is x axis y is equal to 0 and the terms of uh, y is equal to 0 means that is x varies from 0 to 3. You can observe terms of x varies from 0 to 3. Along a b you can observe here along a b that is that line is that is the line constant is x is equal to 3 and y varies from 0 to 1 ok that is uh, y varies from 0 to 1. So, then integral over the curve O B A z square into d z. So, O B A can be written as O B plus O A that is C 1 plus C 2 C is equal to C 1 plus C 2. So, it can be written as integral over the curve O B z square into d z plus integral over the curve C 2 that is B A into z square into d z. So, when I have to substitute the value of z square d z integral over the curve O B plus that is the value uh, plus integral over the curve b a. So, this value that is z square into d z. So, when I have to take that value of along the curve o b, what is the value o b along the curve that is x axis y is equal to 0 then d y is also 0. So, then x varies from 0 to 3 and the terms is the next one. So, we can substitute the value of along o b here y is equal to 0 and d y is also 0. There are also the terms of 
y is equal to 0 and this one is here also y is equal dy is equal to 0 that is entire that uh, real part is 0 here we have to substitute that value of y is equal to 0 and dy is also 0 only in terms of real part that is x square into dx here dy is also there that is 0 and y is also there that is what all the terms of integral over the curve 0 to 3 ob means that is 0 to 3 x square is from 0 to 3 dx x square into dx so now act to substitute the terms of along the curve b a that is that line x is equal to 3 that is a constant uh, a dx is equal to 0 and y varies from 0 to 1 so therefore we have to substitute the value of x is equal to 3 here and dx is equal to 0. So, when I have to substitute dx is equal to 0 means these entire terms become 0. Only we have to substitute here that is 3 my 3 into 2 that is 6y into dy minus 6y into dy plus i into the dx value is equal to 0. So, this value is absent and the remaining term is that is a x square that is a 3 square that is 9 minus y square into dy. So, we have to observe here along the curve OB that is integral varies from 0 to 3 x square into dx plus along the curve BA that is uh, x square is y, y varies from 0 to 1 is minus y into dx plus i into 9 minus y square into dy. And now to substitute these values in this term, it will get the terms. And so now I have to integrate the terms with respect to the independent variables that is integral over the curve OBA that is z square into dz is equal to x square integration is x cube by 3 integral varies from 0 to 3 plus minus y into y, y integration is y square by 2. So, when I have to cancel the terms of 2 and 6 that is 3 plus i into 9 that is a constant the terms is 9 into or integral the constant term is this y minus y square integration is y cube by 3. So, integral over the values is 1 0 to 1 y varies from 0 to 1 here x varies from 0, 0 to 3. So, therefore, the upper limit is 3 here the lower limit becomes 0 here also the terms containing x here here both the terms of uh, containing y when I have to substitute that lower limit this value is also 0. So, only we can substitute that upper value upper value that is uh, 27 by 3 because x is equal to 3. So, we are 27 by 3 means that is 9 plus we are minus 3 because y is 1 uh, that is upper limit is 1 square means 1 uh, minus 3 plus i into 9 minus 1 by 3 that upper limit lower limit becomes 0. So, therefore, it can be written as when I have to take in that LCM here that is the 3 that is uh, 27 minus 1 the remaining term that is is equal to 9 minus 3 when I have to cancel this term is 27 by 3 means 9 that is minus 3 plus i into 27 minus 1 by 3. So, therefore, so 9 minus 3 is that is integral over the curve O B A z square into d z is equal to 6 plus 26 by 3 into i 9 minus 3 is 6 so that is 20 i into 27 minus 1 that is 26 by 3. So, that lastly that is uh, that the integral along the closed path O B A. So, I have to joining the terms of uh, integral over the along the curve along the closed path O B A O is you can observe the terms as x axis, y axis along O B A O that means along the curve O B uh, that is O B and B A and O A. You can observe A O not Y that is O B A B and A O. So, that is a closed path. So, that we have to observe the terms here along the curve O B that is Y is equal to 0 and X varies from 0 to uh, 3 and along the curve this one that is a B A that is a X is equal to 3 and Y is varies from 0 to 1. And similarly, in terms of the closed curve, that is a o, that is x is equal to 3 into y. We already found out all the result. So, therefore, we have to observe the terms of here 
the first curve is OB that OB AO can be written as in terms of two curves that is OB plus BA and that last one plus AO, AO we can observe the terms of that closed curve but we already find out that value of OA when I have to interchange that uh, upper and lower limit that is instead of AO by OA we can take that negative terms because the direction is OB A O B A O. So therefore when I have to take that negative terms that is interchange that upper and lower limit that becomes minus. You can observe here integral over the curve O B A O Z square into D square. So that is the already find out the terms O B A integral over the curve O B A Z square into D Z plus integral over the curve O A into Z square in Z square into D Z. So therefore, we do not know the terms of A we already find out the terms of O A when I have to interchange that upper and lower limit. So, this becomes that is negative. So, we have to observe here along the curve the first one is the same as it is along the curve O B A Z square into D Z minus integral over the curve O A. So, we have to interchange that direction because negative direction that is z square into dz. We already find out that the two curves, the, the, the two curves values are same that is 6 plus 26 by 3 into i minus 6 plus 26 by 3 into i from equation 4 and 5. So, therefore, integral over the curve O B A O z square into dz is equal to 0. Thus, the integral along the curve O B A O that is closed curve is 0. So, taking the second problem and in, in evaluate integral over the curve uh, 0 to 3 plus i that means z is equal to 0 and the lower limit upper limit 3 plus i means that is 3 comma 1 z square into dz along the line 3 y is equal to x already shown that in the earlier slides that when at a line joining the two points that is x is equal to 3 y 0 comma 0 to 3 comma 1. Okay. So, along the line x is equal to 3 y then dx is equal to 3 into dy then y varies from 0 to 1. So, that is z is equal to 0 to uh, z is equal to 3 comma 1. So, this one is x axis and this one is y axis and this one is that line joining the two points. So, that line value is x is equal to 3 y. So, when I have to take x is equal to 3 y then dx is equal to 3 into dy then y varies from 0 to 1. We can observe here y varies from 0 to 1. So, this is, the, this is that line. So, I have to take the terms is y varies from 0 to 1. So, therefore, we know the value of z square into dz. So, the terms is uh, integral over the curve. Uh, 0 to 3 plus i z square into dz we can substitute the value of uh, uh, x is equal to 3 y and dx is equal to 3 into dy. So, therefore, y varies from 0 to 1 uh, this uh, the terms is we know that z square is that is x plus i y whole square into dx plus i into dy. We have to substitute that value of x is equal to 3 y you can observe here x is equal to 3 y plus i into y whole square plus dx is 3 into dy plus i into dy. Here the term says uh, y is taking y as a common factor that is y square. Uh, here also the terms of dy is a uh, common factor, common term you can take it outside. It can be written as integral over the curve 0 to 1 3 plus i whole square that is a constant term it is independent of y you can take it outside in the next step into y square into 3 plus i this one we are going to take dy as a common term. So, here also this one is a 3 plus i is also constant term. So, here also 3 plus i whole square here 3 plus i that is 3 plus i whole cube. So, it can be rewritten as integral over the uh, sorry the terms is 3 plus i whole cube into integral over the curve 0 to 1 y square into dy. What is the value of uh, what is the integration value of y square that is y cube by 3 over the the interval is upper and lower limit is 0 to 1. So, the terms containing y when I have to substitute that lower limit y is equal to 0 that is vanish out. So, only we can substitute that upper limit that is y is equal to 1. 
So it can be written as 3 plus i whole cube into 1 by 3 or 3 plus i whole cube by 3 we have to take as it is the terms is like. We have to move on to the next one. A problem, next problem integral over the curve C. Uh, the terms is um, mod sorry z bar whole square into dz around the circle that first condition mod z is equal to 1 the next one mod z minus 1 is equal to 1. Here we know that concept of uh, that circle equation that is z minus z naught is less than or equal to r z naught means that is a uh, origin uh, sorry that is a center and uh, r is the radius. So, solution we know that mod z minus z naught is less than or equal to r where z naught is the center and r is the radius what is z naught z naught is x naught plus i into y naught uh, is the center and r is the radius. So, what is the given terms the first condition is mod z is equal to 1 if mod z is equal to 1 means so when I have to compare these two terms where mod z is equal to 1 and mod z z minus z naught is less than or equal to r. So, we can easily predict the value of z naught is equal to 0 ok, there the terms is missing. So, therefore, z naught is equal to 0. If z naught is equal to 0 means that is that origin that is the terms of 0 comma 0 and what is the center? The center is uh, 0 comma 0 and radius is 1. You can observe the terms of the center is 0 comma 0 and the radius is 1 when it compare the terms is z naught is equal to 0 comma 0 that is the center and r is equal to 1 that is the radius. So, so we can find out that z naught is equal to 0 means that is 0 is equal to 0 plus i into 0 that is equal to x naught plus i into y naught. So, we can easily predict that center is at that origin 0 comma 0. So, therefore, the uh, what is the value of uh, z bar? So, we have to observe here if that x axis and y axis if uh, center is the origin that, that is the circle and r is equal to 1 that radius the terms is r is equal to 1. So, that and the uh, x axis that meeting at the term y axis that is 0 comma 1 to 0 comma minus 1 that is the line touching the circle and here also 1 comma 0 to minus 1 comma 0. So, that is that radius. So, therefore, on this circle we have that is when I have to remove that modulus that is z is equal to e to the power of i into theta then dz is equal to i into e to the power of i theta into d theta and theta varies from you can observe the terms of that is entire circle means that is theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. So, therefore, what is the value of z bar here? We can find out what is the value of z bar. Z bar is that is e to the power of minus i into theta we already well known that result and z bar square can be written as that is e to the power of minus 2 i theta. We can take in the square on both this side. So, therefore, z bar square is equal to e to the power of i into 2 theta. Okay. So, then go through the problem the first one condition integral over the curve c uh, z bar whole square into d z is equal to that is theta varies from integral over the curve theta varies from 0 to 2 pi e to the power of z bar square is e to the power of minus 2 i theta into d z value is i into e to the power of i theta into d theta. So, here i is a constant term we can take it outside the integral and the remaining term that is a e to the power of minus 2 i theta uh, into e to the power of i theta is the basis same we can add that power. So, it can be written as in uh, that is equal to uh, i into integral where is from 0 to 2 pi e to the power of minus 2 i theta plus i into i theta. So, therefore, i into theta not i theta that is uh, i theta. So, therefore, so, minus 2 minus uh, plus 1 that becomes minus i theta that is, is equal to uh, i into integral where from 0 to 2 pi e to the power of minus i theta into d theta here extra 1 i is there the terms is. So, therefore, what is the integral of e to the power of minus i theta that is e to the power of minus i theta divided by minus 1. So, that is is equal to 
i into it to the power of minus i theta divided by minus i. So, theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. And I have to substitute that value of uh, that lower limit e to the power of uh, uh, 0 that is 1. So, that is e to the power of 2 pi. In the next one upper limit when I have to apply the terms of e to the power of 2 pi i. So, that is is equal to here i and i get cancelled the terms becomes here minus sign is there that is equal to minus e to the power of that upper limit is 2 pi i minus e to the power of 0 is 1. We know the value of uh, here when I have to substitute that uh, multiply the terms of minus that is uh, 1 into and e to the power of i theta value can be written as cos theta plus i into sin theta instead of the terms of theta that is here minus 2 pi. So, that term can be written as so therefore 1 minus cos 2 theta that is cos 2 pi minus i into sin 2 pi because the terms here negative sign is there. So, that is why I can take in the uh, negative. So, therefore, cos 2 pi is 1 and sin 2 pi is, is 0. So, the terms is 1 minus 0 is that is 1. So, therefore, integral over the curve c z bar whole square into d z is 1 minus 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0 because cos 2 theta cos 2 pi is 1 and sin 2 pi is 0. So, what is the second one the condition? The second one is we know that uh, z minus z bar is less than or equal to r and where z naught is the center and r is the radius. What is the given condition? The terms is mod z minus 1 is equal to 1. That means, z naught is equal to 1. If z naught is equal to 1 means that is the uh, imaginary part is absent here only the terms of real part. So, therefore, uh, that is x naught is equal to 1. If x naught is equal to 1 means uh, y naught is 0 that is x axis. So, therefore, the center is at 1 comma 0 in the x axis that is 1 comma 0 and the radius is 1. But observe the circle with the center is at uh, 1 comma 0 and the radius is equal to 1. Uh, to observe the terms of z naught is equal to 1 means that is 1 is equal to 1 plus i into 0 the because imaginary part is absent. So, we can easily predict the value of x naught is equal to 1 and y naught is equal to 0. So, we have to observe by graphical representation y axis, x axis and that integ uh, circle on the uh, x axis that is 1 comma 0 that is center and r is the radius you can observe that the remaining values. So, that is that is ok. Now, we have to take in that value when I have to remove that modulus that is z minus 1 is equal to e to the power of i theta. So, therefore, on the circle we have z minus 1 is equal to e to the power of i theta and theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. So, therefore, z is equal to 1 plus e to the power of i theta then dz is equal to i into e to the power of i theta into d theta. So, we know the value of z here when I have to take in the z bar that can be written as z bar is equal to 1 minus e to the power of minus i theta and uh, z bar square want in terms of z bar square we can take that whole square z bar square is equal to 1 plus e to the power of I minus i theta whole square. We can expand the terms of 1 plus e to the power of minus i theta whole square that is uh, 1 plus 2 into e to the power of minus i theta plus e to the power of uh, i theta whole square that is e to the power of minus 2 i theta. So, this is the z bar square and the terms of d z is i into d uh, e to the power of i theta into d theta. So, therefore, integral over the curve c z bar square into d z is equal to integral over the curve which varies from theta varies from 0 to 2 pi as 1 plus uh, 2 i theta plus uh, uh, e to the power of 2 i theta that is z bar square and dz is i into e to the power of i theta into d theta. So, when I have to multiply the terms of uh, uh, e to the power of i theta inside the terms, okay, it can be rewritten as uh, the terms here integral over the curve uh, 0 to 2 pi and to multiply here 1 into e to the power of i theta is i i into e to the power of i theta plus that is uh, 2 into i into e to the power of minus i theta into e to the power of i theta plus uh, 
here that is the extra term sorry this uh, is a typing error the term is not containing here sorry here the terms is, is there but this one is into okay i into e to the power of 2 i theta into not the bracket that is into e to the power of i theta so here the base is same you can add the power of e that is minus 2 i theta here plus i theta that becomes minus i theta here e to the power of i theta plus i theta that can cancel the terms of e to the power of 0 that is 1. So, therefore, in the next step that is integral varies from 0 to 2 pi e to the i into e to the power of i theta plus 2 i into e to the power of i minus i theta plus i theta we can add the power of e plus i into e to the power of minus 2 i theta plus i theta into d theta. So, this becomes 0 e to the power of 0 is 1 and this one becomes minus i theta. So, therefore, integral over the curve 0 to 2 pi i into e to the power of i theta plus 2 i plus i into e to the power of minus i theta into d theta. So, I have to take that integration on these values with respect to theta. So, therefore, the first one is i into e to the power of i theta divided by i because the integration of e to the power of i theta is e to the power of i theta by i, i i get cancelled that is only in terms of e to the power of i theta plus here the constant term 2 i into d theta that is 2 i theta and the next one is similarly a plus i into integration of e to the power of minus i theta is e to the power of minus i theta by minus i here i i get cancelled that is minus sign is there so minus e to the power of minus i theta and the, this one is uh, upper limit is 2 pi and lower limit is 0. So, therefore, so, when I have to substitute that lower limit uh, that is the terms of 0, so this value is directly 0 and this one is uh, e to the power of 0 is 1 and here minus sign is there uh, e to the power of minus 0 is what is 1 that is the term is. So, therefore, and also we have substitute theta is equal to 2 pi. So, it can be rewritten as that value is um, e to the power of 2 pi i plus the next one is 4 pi i because 2 pi into 2 i there is 4 pi i minus e to the power of minus 2 pi i that is the next one is 1 minus 0 minus 1 ok. And that sub theta is equal to 0 that is e to the power of 0 is 1 and here directly that theta is equal to 0 that is 0 and here the terms of e to the power of minus 0 that is 0, 1 here minus sign is there. So, 1 minus 1 that get cancelled. We know the value of the concept of e to the power of i theta that is cos theta plus i sin theta and e to the power of minus i theta is cos sin theta sorry cos theta minus i sin theta. We have to substitute that values here that is cos 2 pi minus i sin 2 pi plus 4 pi minus cos 2 pi minus i into sin 2 pi. So, we know the value of cos 2 pi is 1 and sin 2 pi is 0. So, we can substitute that value. So, that is 1 minus 0 plus 4 plus i minus 1 minus 0 that can be written as 1 plus this one 1 minus 1 is 1 plus 4 plus 4 pi i minus 1. So, 1 1 get cancelled. So, therefore, integral over the curve z square z bar square into dz that is equal to 4 pi i ok. So, on to the next problem evaluate integral over the curve c z square into dz where c is the given by two line segment joining z is equal to 0 uh, z is equal to 2 i to z is equal to 4 plus i z is equal to 0 to 2 i we can observe terms so z is equal to 0 means that is the origin and 2 i means that is x the term says a real part is missing that is x part is missing the only in terms of y part that is a 2 that means that is a y axis this 0 comma 2 to the term says uh, 0 comma 2 to this 4 comma 2 you can observe terms of the line joining because x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. So, therefore, there are two line segment the first one is 0 comma 0 that is origin to 0 comma 2 the next one is 0 comma 2 to 4 comma 2. So, we have to observe here the given c is the line segment joining 0 comma 0 what is 0 comma 0 means z is equal to 0 that which implies 
x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 that is x plus i y is equal to 0 plus i into 0. So, we can easily predict x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So, that is the first point is 0 comma 0 that is the origin and uh, a when I have to consider the terms of a 0 comma 2 that is the terms of z is equal to 2 i. So, that implies that z is equal to 2 i means that is x plus i y is equal to 0 plus 2 i we can easily predict here also x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2. So, that is 0 comma 2. 2 uh, the terms of b of 4 comma 2 if the term says z is equal to 4 plus 2 i which implies x plus i y is equal to 4 plus i into 2 x is equal to 2 and y is x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. So, by graphical representation x axis and y axis and the terms of that line segments you can observe the terms of uh, there is a origin 0 comma 0 to the first line that is 0 comma 2 that is the first line segment and the second one is 0 comma 2 to 4 comma 2 that is a to b here 0 to a that is the first line segment and the next line segment is a to to B the terms of. So, therefore, along O A that is the C 1 curve that is uh, the curve is made up of two lines that is C 1 plus C 2 you can observe the terms of where C 1 that is x is equal to 0 C 1 uh, x is equal to 0 that means y varies from 0 to 2 we can observe the values in the y axis x is 0 and y is y varies from 0 to 2 along uh, A B the term says that is C 2 the curve C 2 uh, it can be written as that is a constant line that is y is equal to 2 and y x where is from 0 to 4 ok. So, there are curve is made up of two lines that is C 1 C can be written as C is equal to C 1 plus C 2 where C 1 is O A uh, that is x is equal to 0 and y where is from 0 to 2 and plus C 2 that is O B sorry A B the term says y is equal to 2, y is a constant term and x varies from 0 to 4 ok. So, it can be written as uh, z is equal to x plus i into y then d a z is equal to d x plus i into d y. So, when I have to take the conjugate z bar is equal to x minus i into y. So, that for along the curve c z bar into d z. So, the terms can be written as uh, uh, along the curve C 1 z bar into d z plus along the curve C 2 z bar into d z because C can be written as made up of two curves uh, C 1 plus C 2 that is along the curve O A. So, we know the value of z bar into d z, z bar is x minus i into y and d z is d x plus i into d y plus C 2 that is along the curve A B x minus i y because z bar is x minus i y into d z is x plus d x plus i into d y. Along the curve O a already discussed the terms is along the curve o, o a that is the c 1 x is equal to 0 and then d x is also 0 then y varies from 0 to 2. So, this is the first term we have to substitute x is equal to 0 and d x is also 0 and then y varies from 0 to 2 that is the first curve C 1 and the next one along A B you can observe terms of along A B that is curve C 2 y is equal to 2 then I can substitute here y is equal to 2 and d y is equal to 0 and x varies from 0 to 4. So, therefore, we have to substitute that corresponding uh, values the first curve is y varies from 0 to 2 that is x is equal to 0 minus i into y and dx is also 0 plus i into dy. The second curve x varies from 0 to 4 and that value of uh, y is equal to 2 that is x is uh, y is equal to 2 that is x minus i into 2 plus dx plus i into dy value is 0. So, therefore, it can be written as that uh, integral over the curve that is uh, here we have to multiply the terms of i into i that is i square we know the value of i square that is minus 1. So, the first term is integral over the curve y, y varies from 0 to 2 
i into i is i minus i square into y into dy the first one and also we know the value of i square is minus 1 minus into minus plus that is only in terms of y into dy. The second one uh, x square is from 0 to 4 x in x minus 2 into i into dx because the terms here. So, now I have to integrate them directly here the terms is that is 1 i into i square that is minus 1 into minus 1 that is plus 1. So, therefore, uh, term is it can be written as uh, integration of y is y square by 2 and y varies from 0 to 2. Here also we have to substitute that upper limit uh, that is uh, 2 that is 4 2 square by 2 and the lower limit is 0 and the next one is here x is there that is x square by 2 and where the constant term 2 i x the terms is uh, and x varies from 0 to 4. So, here also the terms containing x is there. So, the, when I have to substitute that lower limit that is the value becomes so vanish out. So, only we can substitute that upper limit. So, we can observe the terms of minus i square that is equal to 1 because i is minus 1 and minus uh, sorry i square is minus 1 minus into minus plus 1. So, therefore, I have to substitute that upper limit in the both the case lower limit in the both the case are 0. So, only we can substitute that upper limit that is 2 square by 2 that becomes a square and 2 get cancelled that is 2 here 4 square by 2 that is 4 square can be written as uh, that is uh, 16 by 2 means that is 8 minus uh, 2 i into 4 and substitute that value. So, therefore, the first value is 2 plus 8 minus 8 i. So, therefore, that is 2 plus 8 is 10 minus 8i. So, integral over the curve c z bar into d z is equal to 10 minus 8 into i. So, I shall wind up the session. Uh, please go through the problems once again. Thank you.